So we're going to take our stock pistons from looking like this, caked up with carbon, to looking like this with very little effort and very minimal cost. Stick around. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. We're working on rebuilding a 1.8 liter for boost. And one of the things I want to do is get the pistons clean, get the ring lands clean. And so that way we can just essentially reuse the pistons and the rings and toss it back together with a little bit of ring gap, of course. So we're going to take our stock pistons from looking like this, caked up with carbon, to looking like this with very little effort and very minimal cost. And what I'm using is just some Kim Dip, normally used for carburetors, does really well at getting carbon deposits off. At the time of filming this video, it was 25, 26 bucks at AutoZone. Find this at any auto parts store. And we're just gonna take our piston, along with our rod. If you wanna take your piston off the connecting rod, obviously we're upgrading ours. However, this just makes it a little easier. We'll just toss it in the bucket and we'll let that sit for about 30 minutes and we'll check back. It's been 30 minutes, let's check on the progress. Let's see how she's doing. Look at that. It just ate away all that carbon on the sides. Now on the top here, what we'll do, so you can use a scotch bright pad or whatever you have and We'll just wipe it off. If you got some that's just really caked up. Use a, a green scotch bright. I'm just trying to get these valve reliefs all nice and taken care of. We'll wipe the rest of this down. And we still have our rings in there, so what we'll do is we'll use those to just kind of clean out the ring lands. We'll keep them in there. And we've got a few stubborn parts here. And which we'll just let it soak a little bit longer and eat the rest of that up. Been about another 15 minutes or so. Let's see how she's doing. There we go. Rest of that crap wiped right off. Our ring lands are nice and clean. Now let's go ahead and rinse this with some water and we'll hit it with some WD-40 to keep things from rusting up. Even though this is aluminum, however, this pins still uh, along with these rings. Hit it with a little bit of water. Now we'll hit with the little WD to water displacement number 40 to displace some of that water. And you can even see where the, the carbon buildup stops on the piston. Now we could go ahead and run this as is, hone our cylinder, toss them back in, but for a little added bonus, And we'll get the remaining buffing compound off. 
I do plan on removing these rings and gapping them so I'm not too worried about how clean or not clean they are after buffing it. But there we go. Nice, clean, and shiny piston. So that's how I go about taking a piston that looks like this to this. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And until next time, peace out with your pizza.